Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and here we are starting a new unboxing series. I'm so excited. This is my 45 pound box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry, and I will try desperately to keep my fingers out of the lens. I don't have one of those like selfie sticks or something. And I have to hold the camera in my hand while I'm cutting it open, the box open, because <laughs> I still see my finger in there because if I have it in my stand right here, it's much too close. It's like this close. So here we go. I will cut the box open. We'll see what's inside. Take a peek. And then I will sit down and reset the camera in its place. This is a box I got back in August. So I have been waiting and doing other unboxings in the meantime. And they've been a lot of fun too. But I think it's time to start this one. So here we go. 45 pounds. It's a pretty big box. And I'm assuming it'll be in, I hope it's in different bags, like separate bags. So get that out of the way. This, they don't want us to tell where, what um, location it is, but there's a lovely note and this box was, let's say, a lot. It was a lot. It wasn't grossly a lot, but it was a lot, so. But it's good to pay up because then you get nice things. Okay, oh, I hope you're gonna be in four bags because if not, oh, it does seem to be. Get that out of the way, wow. All right, I am seeing some beautiful things. I'm loving that pink and purple, those beads, the red and, and turquoise color. That looks vintage right there. So I'm gonna have to, yes, they are in four bags. So I'll have to remove the bags. And then we're gonna decide, ooh, look, yummy. Which one to start with? Oh my gosh, look at that. I think I remember seeing those in the picture. I hope that's gonna be so awesome. Very heavy. Oh, okay. Then we have two more. So this is going to be a long series, but it's going to be a cameo. Oh my gosh, a cameo. There's a cameo in that. This looks like the, the bag of metal. Okay, I'm going to put the phone. Uh, let me move the box out of the way. Can you tell I'm excited? Okay, I got the box put on the floor. And the last thing we were looking at together was this bag because I got very excited about there being a cameo in there. So there it is. And this is the heaviest bag with the most chains and all little tiny things. So this will probably be, will probably also include a detangle video. We'll see how that goes. I see some beautiful blue things. Oh my. So which one do I choose? And look at these, that looks like, it feels cold. It looks like gemstones. So this is very exciting indeed. And look at that cute little baby, beautiful shell. Oh, there's a butterfly in that bag. Wow, and I see some vintage earrings. I might have to go with this bag first. And that looks like lapis. Woo! -hoo. All right, it's really tough. But I know that if I open this one first, oh, but look at that. Look at those like um, rhinestones are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, I don't want to take 10 minutes like before I've even opened anything, but this is part of it. This is part of opening the box and taking your initial look at things and trying to decide which one to go with. And it's like an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. They all look good to me, you know? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get my phone in its holder and you'll see what bag I chose when we come back. Okay, so here we go. The beginning of our 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. I hope this is gonna be a good choice. Well, they're all a good choice because I think it's all beautiful. I really do. I love all of the jewelry. 
And I think because I'm so brand new at jewelry and I don't know about, you know, I don't know much about designers and things, I think it's just all exciting to me and I'm just like a kid seeing it all for the first time because I really am. Those of you that are new to my channel, I started about seven months ago. Um, I recorded myself doing an unboxing and put it on YouTube and it went well. So I've been making videos since then and really enjoying it. As far as jewelry, I started into it about two years ago maybe by now. I just wanted to learn about a few pieces that I had been given from my aunt. I mean, not a lot, but I wanted to learn about it, so I started to look into it, and then I just kept watching jewelry videos. Before long, I started to buy those um, blue boxes. I don't suggest them, but I started to buy them. I learned a lot from those. Then I learned about shopgoodwill.com, and I really liked it there. And that's where I've been getting my boxes for the most part since then. So I don't want to damage anything, so I'm trying to cut the tape away and try to get to the bag. Oh, we did it. And open it that way. I think I have a little bit more tape down here to snip at. I think I did it. Okay, marvelous. And then we'll see if this is still sticky. I don't want the jewelry to stick to it, so I might as well just get rid of it right now. So there's going to be a little bit of noise with the tape. Maybe if I push it away from the microphone, it won't be so loud. Okay, I'll be right back. Got the tape off with success. Okay, so before we start opening, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Here is my very high-tech subscribe sign. So I, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see my next video as soon as it posts, then hit the subscribe button so you won't miss the next one. Because this box is going to take us a little while to open. And also hit the bell so that you'll be notified of my next video. Thank you for that. And if you see anything you like that I price in the video, you are welcome to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Now, without yelling at anybody, <laughs> I need to ask you, I couldn't yell if I tried, I mean, please. But I need to ask you very, very clearly to send me these four pieces of information. I have to have these four. I don't need any screenshots. In fact, screenshots kind of throw me off. I'm very, like, orderly and have to do things this way. It really works for me. So if you work with me, I'd love that, and I appreciate it so much. When you send me an email, I need the video name and its episode number. The second thing I need are the timestamps of when the pieces show up that you like. You can find the timestamp by just pausing your video and it will be right there. Also send me a brief description and the prices. So you might say video name, episode number, and then under that you'll put number one, timestamp such and such. Brief description might be gold necklace with pearls um, and then the price, whatever I gave for a price, okay? So that would be wonderful if you do that. I thank you very much. If there's any of this information missing, I'll have to send the email back to you and say, I need you to go get one of these or all of these. And then you might miss a place in line, so I don't want that to happen, okay? Thank you very much for that. All right, let's see what we got. This is our first thing out of the box. It is a brooch, and it looks a bit like an angel does work. Oh, that's cute. It has a shell, <clears throat> like for a body, the little wings, a ribbon, and kind of a pearl for its head. So it looks like someone made it. It is adorable. It does have a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe that's, oh, I think they filled up, it had like a hole in it and they filled up with the glue. 
But it's adorable. I mean, if someone would like that, just let me know and I'll include it in your order, okay? No charge. Just put it in your order if you have an order with me. So cute. Okay, the next looks like a really old earring, and I say that because it is a screwback earring, and these are very early 1900s. Now, they still make them after that, but this looks like a very early brass one. It does need some cleaning. And the earring, I don't know if it makes sense that that is on this, but it also looks like it's been sewn on there. This is really kind of a mystery. Let me look at it with my loop. Oh my heavens, these beads are sewn on there with like a silk thread. And, wow, I don't know. Very different. But we need to wait for its mate anyway. It's just really, I mean, I've never seen anything like that sewn in. All right, let's put it over there for now. What else? Oh, a pair of clip-ons. They need a little cleaning too, but I love this brass. They do look like they say something on them. Look at that brass, isn't that beautiful? And the white milk glass beads. Oh, adorbs. They're perfect. All right, let's see what they say. You'll probably see before me. It says, made in Italy. I heard someone talking about jewelry being marked made in Italy. Now I have a piece. I never got one before. I got like made in Japan, made in West Germany, I'm getting one of my wax. Also, sometimes you guys ask me which wipes I use. Obviously, this is a new box, so it's really tough to get it out. But this time I bought, and I'm not affiliated or anything, um, these disinfectant wipes that are made with alcohol. I just like it. I think it cleans nicely. I don't clean everything with it, but. It's nice when I'm unboxing and I need something just for a quick wipe. But that's what these say, made in Italy. Oh, I love them. And they are cleaning up very easily. Like, look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm so excited. This looks like where the little wire goes through. Just needs a little cleaning. But again, I have to be careful. They're vintage. You know what cracks me up, too, is I go so gently with the jewelry, but... It came in this huge bag with another 45 pounds of jewelry, and it's made it through, I don't know, 80 years, and I'm so gentle with it, like, oh, I can't break it. It cracks me up sometimes, but I love those. They are awesome. Hi, Volte. My The finger that I broke is doing okay. Um, it's not so bad, so I don't worry about showing it on video, but it is still very, very sore. So it's hard to email. Sometimes my emails are a little bit slow. So thank you for forgiving me about that. I think someone nearby is doing some hedge trimming or something. I'm not sure how much of the sound is going to come through, but we'll just see how it goes. This is really cute. A little dangle earring. It is acrylic, but it looks like stone. Very pretty. It is pierced. So that will go on our Wait for Your Mate board, which I haven't brought out yet, but I'll get that in a minute. <clears throat> Little piece of I don't know. This looks like the necklace that I wear <clears throat> with the lovely sterling silver heart. I'm not sure if this is sterling. Looks like, are they really pearls? They're very scratchy. And the metal looks very nice. Wow, I don't know. Well, let's see what happens with the magnet. That's our first step, is to see if something sticks to the magnet as far as metal. And it does not. And if it doesn't stick, that's the jump ring sticking. Um, it's rare that if you have sterling here that the jump ring would not also be sterling. But again, we'll put it aside and we'll test it. I'm thinking it's not sterling, but they do feel like real pearls. They're very scratchy, and they're Baroque pearls that have sort of ridges in them. Stretch is nice, so that's a pretty one. Why don't we just see right now, really quickly, how it how it looks when I'm testing it? Because sometimes you can test, you can check 
determine, I'm sorry, just by taking a sample. If it looks a little coppery, yes, it does. So this is silver over copper, but let's see if maybe the charm is a part of something else, don't know. And it also looks silver over copper. The stretch again is beautiful. There are big Baroque pearls, it's a very pretty look. So why don't I go ahead and price this at uh, $12, okay? Super nice looking. All right, what else do we have? This is pretty. Is this a bracelet? I was thinking this is a necklace, but look at that bracelet. I love it. It's faux pearls, sort of a silvery, almost a light brown silvery. And it feels like a lot of fun. I think it is marked Charming Charlie. I really like some of the pieces, the Charming Charlies. I think they're great. So let's see. Oh. I'll put things for sale, and if they don't sell, then I'll use them with my Friday night uh, jewelry matching bags. So let's see what this measures. And it's going to be able to be adjusted because it has a couple of rings on it. So it's sitting here at between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. And then it would probably go to, if you clasped it there, could go up to six and a half. Six and a half to seven and a half. That is so fun. It is on gold tone. Um, it's really super. Love it. Sort of a cha-cha but silvery pearls. And for the Charming Charlie, I will say six dollars. Oh, it's so fun. I hate to put it down. This really feels like really fun to hold in the hand. Then we have, I seem to remember these from the 70s when I was just a teenager babe or little girl. I remember these, They're, I think I had one. But this is one, I guess, from that period and looks like a true monarch. I'm not a professional, so I don't know. And I'll say $4 on the cute little butterfly pin. This looks interesting. The metal is very dark. The backs of them immediately get thrown away and I put new backs on them. But this feels like rock crystal, which means it would be real crystal from the ground, but the clear quartz crystal. And look how it's faceted, really sort of roughly and that's cool. I think I'm seeing something on the earring part of it. Let me take a look, see if it's marked. It might be that it's just very tarnished because it's older. But we will not know. Oh, is that a mark? I might have to like polish it up a bit to see what it says. Because it's hard to see with the tarnish. But let's turn on Miss Prissy and see if this is um, rock quartz. So for those of you that are new to jewelry, and maybe this is your first jewelry video, I don't know. This is the Presidium Gem Tester, number two. And it's really super helpful. It doesn't tell us everything, but it sure tells us a lot more than we would know without it. So that's what that is. It has different categories of stones according to, I think, the hardness of them. Gonna pull on her wire. Just want to get it up close so you can see what the categories are. So the first category is like um, garnet, tourmaline. Then the second is tanzanite aqua. The third one down is chrysophrase, emerald, nephrite. Those are usually in the green range. And then the bottom little black mark says quartz, amethyst, citrine. And amethyst and citrine are quartz. So in that category, it can be clear quartz, purple amethyst, citrine, all kinds of colors. So let's see if this is something or if it's not. We want the black line to go about, I mean, we want the needle to go about there if it is quartz. So let's see. 
it's going to glass. So it is a piece of faceted glass, really cool, very cool. And then I'll test with the magnet to see if it sticks. Nope, it's not, so it may be sterling. If so, it's an oldie, but I don't want to test until we're sure we have the second one. Now I need another one of these. If you do buy these um, alcohol ones, I will say they dry out rather quickly, so that's the only downfall to those, but I still do like them. I like to be able to clean my hands as I'm unboxing and to sometimes clean the jewelry, but carefully. You don't want to clean everything with alcohol. I'm just so curious. I want to look one more time for a sterling mark, and I don't see one. Okay, let's keep a move in. This is a little white, feels like acrylic, and that looks like it should be the clasp, but it's not really opening. So I don't know what's going on with this one. So I think I'll put it aside when I have some more time, I'll look at it and see why it's not opening. Okay, oh my goodness, look at this earring. That is so pretty. It has um, almost like a see-through AB coated uh, faux pearl. That, but this one is opaque and this one is opaque. I love that. Silver tone, screw back, obviously vintage. And you know, all the vintage pieces need a bit of a bath. Oh, that's so cute. I'm sorry that I'm missing the camera. I should really look at the camera when I'm, you should look at the camera, Sherry, when you're recording, you know, it's like a good idea. All right, we have an owl that articulates. I'm also trying to rush because after four o'clock, it gets dark and it gets harder to record because there's not as much light around. This is a very cute black enamel owl necklace that moves. The chain is lobster clasp. Looks like a little mark on it, but I'm not sure what that is. It does look like a maker's mark on the clasp, but I could be wrong. The chain is in great condition. It is, if I don't use the extender, it's just over 16 inches, and then you have about a two inch extender. But that's cute. There's the back in great shape. And I'll say five on the owl necklace. Feels nice. Nice quality. Next we have, is this all one earring? I think so. It's a clip on. It has its little rubber, you know, comfort thing on there. So I'll decide if I want that to come off or not. I think I see the other one right here. Yes, I do. All right, those are fun. Those are even like Christmas red. And this is like a gold tone uh, part on the front. So I can certainly take these off if that's what someone wants. But they're clip-on, they're red. There's two of these stacking on each other. They're in very good condition. And I'll say $4 on those. This looks pretty, very shiny. It is acrylic, gold tone. Oh, it's a pin, super nice, it's very shiny. So that's a pretty piece. That would look great on any necklace, any chain, anything, or just simply pinned on. It does have like a C clasp. This feels more like a plasticky than a metal but it's still very beautiful. That would accent just about anything. So for a nice big red piece like that, I'd say, let's say $6 on that. Oh, another pair of the clip-ons, but these are green and red. And I believe this is on a silver tone. Oh, how fun. Okay, let's see if I can grab the other one right away. That'd be nice. Oh, here's a pair. These are probably marked. They look like in really good, 
quality and condition. So they are more of a silver tone faux pearl. It's either a silvery pearl or a silver tone. And yes, they spring open and screw back. So that's for extra comfort. I'm not seeing a mark on them, but they're beautiful. Take a quick peek with the loopy loop. Super nice, I'll say $4 on those. And we'll put this over here to wait for your mate. So I need to sing the song, I guess. I owe it to all of you that do like the song. So we will give it a whirl. Wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. And then he goes and waits for his mate. So we see if the other earring shows up. Now I've been watching a lot of crochet videos lately because I miss crocheting. And this looks a lot like some of it. I don't think it's handmade, but it's very pretty. And it's very navy blue. It's got a rhinestone at the top, pierced earring, and another one to wait for its mate. And it's also full of rhinestones that maybe are glued on. That's pretty. We have, oh, this feels nice. Oh, and it's graduated. I hope we can get this out easily. Yes, we can. Oh, this is nice. So we have a black beaded necklace, larger beads in the front, smaller as you go to the back, so they're graduated. And it's on gold tone, an older spring ring clasp. I just want to see if it says anything on it at all, like a maker. I don't see anything. They don't feel terribly cold, so I wouldn't think they're onyx. But one time I did get an onyx and a real gold beaded necklace, and it was very lovely. So these are acrylic beads. So beautiful. I love the size of them in the front. Let's make sure the spring ring works beautifully. It does seem to. And this is a lovely vintage piece. Everything works great. And this measures 22 inches. Good condition. The gold beads in between look nice too. So I'll say $12 on that. So pretty. Now these, I'm going to have to hold my breath because they're just stunning. I really think they're beautiful. I'm so scared to open them because I don't want to... Okay, that opened. Oh my gosh, look at the back of them. They're gorgeous. Oh, okay. Oh, this one, okay, it does clip, but it doesn't open as much as this one. Does that matter? Don't know. It's probably a little bent, but I'm not going to bother it now. Oh, all right, I think the back is just as pretty as the front. Look at those. Okay, what's going on right here? Is there one missing? I'm hoping not. All right, we have the two orange, the two green, the darker sort of mottled black and gold, and then the purple. Oh, I see. So this is an end, a bead end cap to this bead from the middle. Oh, I thought something was missing. And I just flipped it up and it went right back there. So that might need a little dot of glue. Oh, they're gorgeous. And are they marked? Do they say Germany or something? They say Japan. Oh, they're just precious. Okay. Wow, it would be cool if we had a matching necklace with that. So they do need... Oh, this one needs it too. They need the bead end cap to be glued back on in the same place in both earrings. Otherwise, look at the color scheme. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to say... I have to say a little bit high on these. Let's go like 16. And if you'd like, I can fix that or you can fix it yourself. Oh, I just, I don't want to put them down. They're so pretty. Here's our other earring of that really old looking faceted glass. We'll throw that away. And we'll get the other one out here because we want to know if you are just super old, sterling silver. It's so handmade looking. 
So we're going to test it right now and see. Now I don't want to ruin that beautiful patina, so I'm going to test them way down here. Let's see what happens. So I'm not seeing any copper colors. I don't want to bend it, it's very delicate. So it's not easy, be patient with me. And it is bending a little, that's how soft the metal is. Okay, let me hold it with two hands. What do we have? Do we have sterling? I'm not sure. It does look very silvery. I'll get my 18 karat gold solution because it really is kind of the easiest solution to tell if something's sterling, in my opinion. It will turn blue. And this is turning very, very blue. So it is sterling. I love that. They look super old. The patina is gorgeous. I'm getting myself. I save these paper towels and tear them in like little quarter pieces so I can take the acid off of the stone right away and keep everything safe. Sterling silver, so pretty. Old glass faceted earrings. Love this. So the bottom has that single circle and then two double circles. Oh my gosh, they're really very primitive looking. I absolutely love them. And I'm going to say 18 on these older sterling silver earrings. I'm looking around for a piece of paper because I do want to mark them that they are 925 and I put a check mark because I already tested them. Carefully pop that through and then I'll put some nice new backs on them. Wow, love those, just love them. Okay, what is next? There's so much in here. We have another earring, that's gonna go. It feels glass. Not in super great shape, so put that aside. This is a clip-on. That looks very nice. That looks like a rose quartz, maybe. Let's see if I see a mark. So the difference between unboxing and showing you the jewelry exactly as I'm seeing it is that I haven't seen it before. So I'm not going to have a lot of information about every piece because I'm seeing it for the first time with you. Sometimes people write to me and say, well, why didn't you do this or do that? And that's because, hey, I'm seeing it right now for the first time. So it is testing as rose quartz. I hope my lamps aren't reflecting. It's really pretty. It's got some very pretty metal work that is going to quartz so we have a rose quartz clip on not sterling but beautiful and it's got pretty design around the outside i'm sure we'll find the next one sometimes i can find it right away if it's not too far back in the bag let's see i don't know because it's small i don't know if i can find it right now no, but oh my gosh, look at this earring. Oh my goodness. It's a real shell. That is a real itty bitty tiny beautiful shell with like a gold tone trim on it. Now the earring back is a quality vintage one, so I don't like to always throw them all out. Wow, that is so pretty. Then we have, oh, I can always use these, sort of um, acrylic, almost a moon glow earring, gold tone. That color is really hard to match in my Friday night jewelry matching bags episodes. This looks like shell. It's a blue color, another little clip on, something that also needs a bath. I think it's more the glue than anything, but I'll clean it up for sure. But we have silver tone, clip-on earrings, 
tiny cutie babies. Um, let's check with the magnet just to be sure. They do stick a little bit. They're precious. Okay, so if they go this way, then they look like drops of water. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I will say $4 on those. We are getting some beautiful earrings. <gasps> oh, I never get tired of these sort of 1980s faux pearl and black enamel earrings. They're super beautiful. And this one's different because the petals kind of go around in a different way. Let's see if the other one might be right here. No, so you're going to wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. What is this? What are you? That looks like that shell we just had. It must be carved shell. Look at the detail in that. And that's got to be mother of pearl. And look at the pink rhinestone in the middle. Oh, it's so cute. I think it's a little bit bent. So it does need to be fixed a little. Oh, that was scary. But I think it's gonna be fine. Bring it, yes, it just popped right out to the front. Oh, that's lovely. Cute little pink rhinestone, swirlies. Okay, what about this piece at the top? Is that is just supposed to go to that decorative swirl? I think so. Doesn't look like it held any kind of stone. This is so beautiful. All right, let's check our pin. Make sure everything works. And it does. Oh my. So this looks a lot like the shell earring we just pulled out. Maybe it's some kind of set, we'll find out. But these are thicker. Okay, enough about that. I just love this. I'm gonna say $8 on that. Wait a minute, it's signed, it has a sticker. Hold the phone. It says, made in Taiwan, Republic of China. Oh, the sticker's still on it, that's cool. See that gold sticker there? So what did I say? I forgot, $8? There you go, so pretty. All right, it's getting dark already. Oh, these are interesting. They're sort of glowing from within. So this says a new day, nickel free. They say $9.99 on the back. They don't really give us a clue to what they are, if these are what they came on. They do feel acrylic. They're really pretty though. I like all the shiny different colors coming through. I wonder if, um, where's my flashlight? Will it do anything under a black light? They probably do fluoresce really pretty. But I don't know, I think they're lovely. Gold tone wires, they are brand new. And have like an AB coating and this sort of glowing from within, that's all I can say, soft. I'll do five on those. Now this, is that a Precious Moments? It sure looks like it. And if so, then I think these are somewhat collectible. It looks like the clear coating they put over the top has done some crackling over time, some crazing, and looks to be over like a um, you know, like a pottery type piece. So I'll have to look into that. It's really cute. It doesn't say anything. Oh my gosh, look at her holding her little doll. That's precious. It could be in better shape, but that's what we've got. So we'll look into that. So cute. Another pen. Now this looks like porcelain, definitely porcelain. It's very cold in my hands and it's very lovely, wow. So this is like an off-white, certainly a pink, and then the off-white bud and the pink bud, the whole piece in the back is a lovely soft green. Wow, it's gorgeous. Um, 
it measures about two and three quarter inches and I'll say eight dollars on that it's in good shape next is another earring looks like it's made to look like stone um, and only one for now and oh how fun one of these magnetic bracelets I'm sure wow that's a long one so I think this is made of hematite stone which is magnetic in itself and then how do I do this without bothering my poor little pinky and then you wrap it around and it sticks to itself and is like a multi-wrap bracelet. Now this part's not sticking as well, why? Maybe it just needs to be lined up. There it goes. Okay, so we have pink, black, and silver tone on the magnetic hematite bracelet and I'll say five on that. Good shape. And we have, look how cute this is, the reindeer old-fashioned clothespin. Remember making these, how much fun it was. So here's one with the cute little puffy nose. Just got a little bit of dust on it, but it looks great. Oh my gosh, I don't know if like someone would want to buy that, but someone did a great job on it. It certainly is adorable. Let me know if you buy some jewelry from me. I will put that in with your purchase, okay? That's too cute to just, you know, let go. Oh, here's our other really pretty 1970s looking earrings. So fun. Has blue, gold, and like a brown. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Can you imagine these with a nice, like, leather jacket or just about anything. Blue jeans and a nice brown leather jacket. So cute with your hair and a ponytail. Love them. So again, the back is in great condition. They're on a gold tone metal. And wow, I love them. I'll say $6 on these. And they're in good shape. Just need a little wiping. Okay, love those. There's no signature or anything about who made it, but that's okay. Very, very pretty. Okay, what are you? This is definitely a big piece for sure. It's not too tangled. We can see what you are. Oh, it's going to be double strand. Wow. Wow, I'm going to have to get Buster the neck out to put you on him. This is gorgeous. Red and black. It does feel acrylic, but a heavy, nice acrylic. And we've got a Chico's, of course. Beautiful Chico's necklace. Now, what's going on here? Oh, that's the extender. Okay, so it can go from there to there. Great. Wow, it's a beautiful piece. And look how they did the round black beads are up there. Then they kind of change it up a little. Put this bead in here. I'll show you this way. See what I mean? How there's a red and black bead here. And then they change it up a bit so it's not the same exact thing. That's a beautiful Chico's. Absolutely love it. It measures 18 inches and then you have a whole nother four inch extender. So 18 to 22 inches on this. Super beautiful. Chico's, I'll say 10 on that. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. This looks like an earring with some really delicate, dainty, pretty color crystals. Gray and pink and brown on a gold wire, waiting for its mate. Here we have a faux pearl bracelet on the stretch. That's nice, I don't think I've seen one like that, but I have seen and I do have the collar necklaces that go with it. So I may have to hold on to this one. 
to match it up with my other jewelry. Let's see. Um, it is sitting at seven and a half inches. It does stretch, but it doesn't stretch a lot. So you'll have to, I have big hands. If I can get over my hand, then most of you can. Pretty looking, very. And you can always kind of roll it a bit. I don't feel it's gonna break at all. It just doesn't have a super stretchy feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and say five on this and if someone loves it, they'll let me know. If not, I'll see if it matches my other necklace like that. Now we have some super cute polka dot beads. These are nice. It's on a silver tone clasp with a lobster claw. And they also feel acrylic, but I love the fun little polka dots. And they're actually sitting on the top, so it's like a, a raised polka dot of maybe like a cream color acrylic. That's so cute. Very subtle with the polka dot, but just enough to be beautiful. That's a nice piece. It measures 30 inches long. So you could probably double it since you do have a class and wear it sort of as a double choker. Isn't that cute? Silver tone. All the beads look nice and I'll say $4 on that. And get some nice heavenly jewelry sounds in there too. Okay, my microphone is right up tall so I can speak right into it, so I hope it's working well. I found the other one of these pierced earrings that are very pretty Victorian looking. It looks sort of like a crocheted piece with some rhinestones on it. This one is a little wonky. It probably needs to be relaxed and maybe set a little bit. But there you go. Matching pair. I don't see anything missing and I'll say $3 on those. Okay, what do we have here? This is a nice looking clamper. This looks like some glue, so we know this has some age to it because the glue is kind of aging. So you see it there. It's really cool though. I do think it's milk glass. It does feel like glass. Oh my gosh, it is carved like, or poured milk glass. This is a great piece. I'm going to see if I can get that that glue off or you know maybe I shouldn't commit myself to something that is going to be beyond the time that I can do. So I'm going to take that back and say this is a beautiful vintage milk glass clamper with a little bit of a glue issue. The glue is aging, but I think you could get it off. So that's that one. It's really beautiful. It measures about seven and a quarter. Clamper again. And I'll say $3 on that because it needs that little bit of cleaning. Okay. I love to say I can do a lot of things, but then I don't want to overcommit myself and not be able to make another video. So this necklace has a hang tag already. Let's see what it says. Where are you, Loopy? It says, oh, it's a Daisy Fuentes. I got some jewelry from her when I first started this, and she is a fabulous jewelry maker, and her pieces go for very good money. So we know that much. Here, let me just take it off the clasp because it needs a little bit of untangling, and then I'll show you what's going on. It is a gunmetal, um, how many chains? One, two, three, four, chain necklace. I'm sorry, three, three box chains of gunmetal. Lobster clasp. And then it comes down to this gorgeous, um, pave amethyst color crystal B 
bead right here. And then all the chains come together to form the dangle. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me just test them. They are glass. This is a lovely piece. I'll clasp it again and measure it for you. Let me see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, there is something going on here. One of the chains is missing. Aw, that's not fun. So these come together on this ring. There is four of them, see? And then these come together on the clasp, but there's only three. Okay. So I guess if you wanted to take one out of one side, it would be fine. But that's up to whoever wants it. Um, if I find another chain in the bag, I'll let you know. But that's the condition of it right now. Let me get a measurement of it. I mean, you probably wouldn't notice wearing it, but that's up to you. You know, you have to be able to have your own standards. 22 inches long, and I'll say $4. Beautiful. One chain missing. Another porcelain brooch. Okay, now this was in this giant bag of jewelry, crammed in there, shipped to me with 45 other pounds, and look at it. Look at it, it's perfect. I am so excited. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure that's porcelain. It certainly feels very sandy. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it feels it for sure. Oh, it does have a little, oh, there is one little petal right here, but I almost didn't see it because the other flower just shines through. That's okay, we'll forgive it. It's come all this way and lived all this time. Very beautiful. I love the color orange they used in the middle. I'm gonna say $4 on that. Even with the little petal, I think it's worth that. So these are the two together, aren't they cute? Love those. All right, lots of fun, interesting finds. I wanna know what this is, because I love the colors already. I'm so grooved out already by these groovy, groovy colors. It's like this gold fleck over like a white glass. Brass findings. Really pretty orange and blue piece. And look at this. Just so nice. Really nice looking. This does register as glass. So it's a carved something. Wow. All right, very interesting. We'll have to see if the other one shows. Let me get the pen out of the way. So this is what I use in my phone. I plug this into my phone, and then I plug my microphone in here and the phone charger in here. But it's not working, and my battery's gonna die. So I am recording this portion without the microphone. I'm just using the, the iPhone microphone. So we'll see how it goes. I hope it goes okay. So this is a little faux pearl brooch, tiny, adorable, in good condition, gold tone. Let's make sure the clasp works very well. And it does. So we have this pretty baby. I'll say a dollar on that. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Um, Oh, we have another angel pen. Oh my gosh, it's holding like a, a bunch of grapes. I love anything with grapes because I really enjoy pruning grape vines and pruning apple trees. It's a fascinating thing to do. If you ever get a chance to look into all of that, it's fascinating. But anyway, it's an angel pen, AB Crystal Rivoli setting on the face. And there's other crystals around and a beautiful bunch of grapes. Gorgeous. Um, I will say, let me check the clasp. Yep, that works great. We'll say $3 on that. So pretty. This looks super interesting. This looks like that vintage acrylic 
shaped type jewelry. It's very lovely. I love how it goes on the ear and then it's sitting right there almost like a stud, but it's on the hook. And the green and purple, you can't go wrong with those colors. Okay, what else? So many earrings. Oh boy, do I need red earrings for some of the bags that I want to make. So we have a pair of screwback earrings. Let's see what they do. They are shiny gold tone. And I do kind of like that they put them together like this. This is kind of a new thing. They weren't doing this before. But it does keep them together. Just takes a minute to get them off. Okay, so this part right here, what is going on with this? It looks like it's a little bit bent because it's not hanging right. But it's a beautiful red rhinestone, clear rhinestone here. And there's a little bit of gold worn off on that part right there. It is a foil back. I'm sure I could probably turn that back that way, but before I say that I can, I, I should try it so I don't offer them for sale and it stays bent. So let's see. I have a little pair of pliers and I'm just going to gently try, put it back, and if I break it, then we didn't really lose because it needed to be fixed anyway. But I'm going really easy, a little bit at a time. Whoops, I'm not even showing you. Just a little turn at a time. And I think I got it. That looks very straight. So we have gold tone screw back earrings with a big red crystal on them. Really pretty. You just need to note that there's a little wear right there. I did buy a pen that you can touch up the gold. I don't use it, and if I do, I let someone know that I did, but I could probably do that on those if you want. So these are glass for sure, and I will say $4 on these because of that little bit of wear. Okay, this, is this all together? Oh, is this cool? Looks like a multi-layer necklace with these very cool blue beads. Let's straighten it out a little bit. Let's see, do I even have it right? Yes, so there's a clasp. There's where it clasps. And fix it this way and that way. Nice. So that's how it goes. It does feel like real genuine, um, real stone chips. So we're going to need to do some testing. When we get to the blue ones, I don't know what that is. Maybe they're dyed? Don't know. Let's see what they read as. There's no maker. Gold tone chain. Come on over, Miss Percy, and tell us what we got. Okay, let's test this purple one first. And it does go to amethyst. Lovely. And let's test this blue one. That does go to some kind of stone. Couldn't tell you what it is. This looks like a piece of coral almost right here. So that wouldn't test much more than glass, which it is. There's so many different colors and beautiful stones on here. This looks like tiger's eye. So that should kind of go up into the stone area. This is some more amethyst, which it tests as. So lots of different beautiful stone chips. I'm not finding any that are not testing as real stone. That's gorgeous. Let's try to find out what these are. They're very soft feeling. They're testing in a little bit high into glass, but they could be some kind of softer stone that I don't know what, what the name of it is. Maybe azurite? Don't want to say the wrong thing, but I do want to suggest, you know, a place to start with that. 
So it's all genuine stone, beautiful colors. Um, gold tone chain is in very good condition. It measures um, 16 inches. Then it has another two or three extender. So 16 to 18, it's really pretty. That would look good with so many things. And I will say 15 on that. Genuine stone, that was nice. Okay, what have we next? A beautiful piece of art glass. And, ooh, a fun pearl piece. Lots of earrings. Lots of really pretty stuff. Okay, let's see. That's nice. It's got silver tone and some copper in there. It's in good shape. It is on this black cord. And it measures 16 inches plus a couple extended inches. And I'll say $3 on the art glass. Lovely. Okay, we have some... <laughs> Ooh, we, I thought they were going to be like um, like beads, but they're actually paper. This is fun. I feel like, you know, you'd go to Mexico and then you'd see these really fun earrings and just buy them. And I don't know, maybe I've been watching too many movies, but I like them. This is an acrylic ring on the inside and looks like these are picking up the same colors. It is gold tone, pierced. The other one is right here. And they're adorable. In good shape. So they're like paper tassels. That's what I want to say, paper tassels. So that's one side and that's the other. And I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. They're super fun and I'll say $3 on them. Okay, here's another tassel. But these probably need a little steaming to get them back to where they need to be. Let's see who it is. Looks like a silver tone necklace. And it looks like the little tiny, oh, there is little tiny like Roman coins on it too. I'm not sure of the condition of this because the tassels. So I don't know, this might have to go in our craft jar. But look at this cutie little earring, oh my. Adorable. So you go wait for your mate and let's see what's going on with this guy. I do really love the little Roman coins on it, but I don't love the tassels. So someone could take those off and just have Roman coin necklace, or maybe you love a, ro a tassel necklace and you just want to re-steam those. So that's that one. Not sure why it would go here and then have nothing, but. Oh, wait a minute. It has two clasps on it. So I have no idea. I think I'm just going to make this our first deposit in our craft jar. And I don't know what we're going to call it yet. So in you go. For those that have seen my videos before, I make a craft jar along as we go along in the video. And I do give it the names that people send me. So if you have a name you'd like me to put on a craft jar, leave it in the comments. And I will put it on my list and I will make a craft jar um, as I go down the line of names. So the name on this one is Lonnie. L-O-N-N-I-E. That's one of the names I was given and we haven't used this name yet. So when we're done with the craft jar, I'll put a price on it and then you can let me know if you want the Lonnie craft jar, okay? So that's a fun thing that we've been doing. Now this is a beautiful earring. Looks very Kendra Scott to me. Not seeing any name on the side of it though. And I know this is some kind of like leopard jasper or something. What is that on the that part there? It looks like there's a little, see that little sort of neck in it? So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's really not noticeable at all, but I do want you to be aware of anything that I see. So that's that earring. We'll have to look for the other one. And it's definitely Jasper, it does test. 
I hope my microphone's coming out okay because I'm not using the microphone, I'm using the cell phone. This is very cool. It's a choker style necklace. Um, I'm wondering if that's sterling and if these are all natural stone beads. They look it and they feel it. That's not going up too high. That is going up like in a jasper. I'll show it to you if they really do test. This is acrylic. This is a jasper. So some are acrylic and some are stone. Now let's see the easy way if there is any chance of it being sterling. It's magnetic, does stick to the magnet, so I would say not. It is a choker necklace. It measures 16 inches. It's a pretty piece. It would look great on someone. And I'll say $2 on that. Okay, now we have a lovely glass pearl necklace with a vintage clasp. And it is signed. So let's first check our clasp. I think this kind, you might have to put it through. Yeah. So I'm going to put this through here, and which way is it going? Okay. Well, let me check it. Before I clasp it, let me check it for any marks, because if it's marked, it's going to be on there. I'm not suspecting it is, but we've got to always check, right? And you also want to check these clasps on these sides, too, because I have one that I was sure was sterling, but I couldn't find a mark. And then it was marked right up here on that level. So put that in there. Close it. It closes beautifully. All right, now let's see what you're called. And this is a Monet. Okay, a beautiful hand knotted glass pearl Monet necklace. They're all the same size. They look to be in very nice condition. It is night. Let's see. 18, it's 19 inches long. It's in great shape and it's a Monet. So I'll say $6 on this necklace. Okay, we have some very shiny glittery beads on a stretch bracelet. Very shiny glittery, um, good shape. Nothing wrong with it at all, I will say three on those, and they do feel like they're glass. Next is this black seed bead and gold tone necklace. The clasp looks more of a silver tone, and here again we have a double clasp. So maybe it just goes to a garment at one time or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the craft jar. In good shape. What do we have here? Looks like maybe a bracelet. Okay, we have these really pretty, gorgeous, like turquoise color beads. They feel like glass or stone. This looks like a pearl, but it just goes to here. There's nothing happening. We'll have to see what happens with that. Next is Let's see, a little bit caught here. All right, this is nice and shiny. Super, super shiny. Sugar fix. And it has really cute pink, blue, purple, green, fuchsia, all kinds of color beads. And now I'm gonna make sure it says something nice because one time I had a piece of jewelry that did not say something nice. And I was upset about that, but you were all pretty good about it. So it says good vibes on it. I do like the colors. It's an excellent shape. I'll measure it for you. It measures 18 inches, says good vibes, and it's from Sugar Fix. I'll say $2 on that. Okay, we have, this feels like glass. 
I like vintage things like this. Oh, it's got the, the um, what do you call it when they're set like this, Sherry? Come on, you can do it. Um, can't think of it, but I will. I'll think of it in a minute. This is a loft necklace, silver tone lobster clasp. And it does feel like it's all glass in really nice condition. Just needs a little untangling. So I'm trying to think of Swarovski crystal necklaces are usually um, set like this. I want to say bezel set. I think that's right, bezel set. Okay. So a loft necklace. Double uh, silver tone chain, these beautiful bezel set in like a oval and then also round. And look at these faceted beads, aren't those beautiful? Silver tone round beads. And wow, look at the size of this one. That's a beautiful smoky color, definitely glass. What a beautiful necklace, look how long it is. That's gorgeous. Didn't they do a great job? So it has purple colors. It's giving off like a purple, gray, and almost a black tone to it. Oh, beautiful. I'll measure this. It is 35 inches, a little more than 35 inches. And I'd love to see what happens if you double it. Oh wow, that is so beautiful. So there is our nice loft necklace. Definitely an earlier piece. And I'm gonna say $10 on that. It's a beauty, really beautiful. Oh, another pin that might be porcelain and looks like a carnation. Let's make sure the pin works. And it does. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Looks to be in good shape, and I'll say $4 on that one. So we're getting just some beautiful flower pins. Now this is a more like a not shiny finish, whereas this has a shiny finish. So just letting you know, I don't know much about that, but that's what I see. All I can do is tell you what I see. Um, no one's trying to say that we're professionals. We're just having fun doing some unboxing. And I like to remind you of that once in a while. So this is our second pair of these really cool metal earrings. And these are in a green and a blue. It's a little bit fixed. They're soft metal, so that was easy to fix. And I will say $3 on this pair too. They're clip-ons. So we found it's neat. Next we have a necklace that's still on the card, like the new card. Oh, it's pretty. So it has all of these glass seed beads and gold tone beads and wooden beads that look like little wooden barrels. Isn't that cool? Some more gold tone barrel beads again and look how it finishes <gasps> that is so pretty i really like that okay the card says avenue and it was 18 dollars. it's in great shape i don't think we need the card except that it tells us who sold it but i want to have a look and make sure the clasp is good a little wear right here. Looks like maybe just the paint that they were using. So lobster clasp, a little bit of an extension. This is a long necklace. It is 30 inches. It's really pretty. Uh, just very different. But I want, I do want to take this off because just want to get a good look at the whole thing. I 
welcome to still have this piece if you would like it. And then maybe I'll get the neck out and we'll see how it hangs. Sorry about the scissors being in the way. So I went off camera for a minute because I noticed I can smell some perfume and uh, it's from the necklace. So I would say if it came from this, it was worn. It is in great shape. It's a beautiful piece, but it smells like that perfume. I, I don't know what it is, but it's like an older perfume. Um, kind of tough to get that perfume smell off. So I don't know what to say. I would like to ask, does anyone know how to get that off? Because I've had pieces in the past and I've had to put them in a bag and not know what to do with them because of the perfume smell. So I'm going to put this aside. If anyone knows how to get that off, I mean really knows how. I've tried many, many things. So if you know for sure what gets it off, let me know. Otherwise, that's going to be put aside because it has that very heavy perfume smell. Not heavy... Uh, not like it's a lot of perfume, but it's a perfume that has a heavy um, scent to it. Don't know what it's called, but it's an older perfume, and sometimes you just get that on pieces. Okay, next is a silver tone piece, like a gunmetal. I love the geometrical design. I'm sure that's such an easy fix. You probably just put that little ring right back on there. That would take a minute. So we have gunmetal geometrical necklace, pretty cool piece. It's in good shape. This is the back of it as well. And again, I'll hook that little ring back up. This measures uh, 14 inches with a two inch extender. Okay, so that's that one. And I'll put that back on. Maybe I'll just do it right now quickly so that we just have it done and out of the way. And I'll say $3 on this piece, okay? All right, I think I'm gonna have to get like two tools and just put it on nicely because I can't always see that well. And I'll have to take my time, I guess does seem like it'll pop on very easily, and I'm sure it will. But that's that piece, okay? Now, what else do we have? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at this color blue. And this, this is jet, French jet glass. It's cold. It's faceted. It's vintage. It's beautiful. Look at the smaller beads in between. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know, I may have to keep this one. I do see that it's on, it has brass findings and then the older spring ring. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh, it's 18 inches and it feels cold and fabulous. Wow, I mean, just take a look for a minute. Is that not beautiful? And then you can layer it with other pieces so easily. It would look beautiful with anything. Let me see what else I could pull out and show you what it would look good with. I mean, it just goes with black, goes with everything. Oh, this feels like a hematite necklace. It is. I mean, even if you layered it with that, it's beautiful. It just goes with everything. So that's what I'm saying on this one. And I totally got distracted from this one, but that's okay because we'll get to it all and we'll look at it all. So for the vintage French jet glass necklace, oh, what did I say it measured? 18 inches. I'm going to say, I'll say 20 on that because they are really a beautiful find. So 20 inches on that. I mean, $20 on that. This is very beautiful. Really beautiful. It has these acrylic purple-blue swirly awesome pieces. Looks like Egyptian Revival type. 
hammered gold tone. Look at the gold beads in between. Rhinestones on each piece. And the chain is in great shape. It's on the lobster clasp. It measures 20 inches. And that's just a fabulous looking necklace. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the back. And I'll say 15 on this piece. So I hope you love that. I think it's gorgeous. I'm so happy I was able to find another plug and plug my microphone back in. So hopefully this will be better sound. I'd like to remind you, if you'd like to purchase any of the jewelry, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. It's probably easiest if you take a screenshot of this and save it for yourself. You can also find instructions on how to purchase jewelry by going just under the video title and you'll see the word more and you click on that word more and that will take you to the video description. So this will be in there also. And please send me these four pieces of information or I'm gonna have to email you back and ask you to go get them. It's just very important. This is how I store it, this is how I find it, and this is how I make sure I get the exact piece you're asking me for. So please send me the video name with the episode number. The second thing would be the timestamps. The third would be the brief description. And the fourth would be the prices. So thank you very much for that. And also like to remind you to subscribe and like and all those things so you won't miss the next episode or episodes and see all that we find in this really great bag of jewelry. So we've got another very big statement piece and I'm seeing something else that looks like it oh it's a matching bracelet wonderful so here we go it looks very Chico's doesn't it it's on a lobster clasp silver tone and I'm gonna just try to get it to clasp um, it looks like it's kind of caught on the chain not in it you know so there we go. So this is an acrylic black and silver, different texture beads on it. Uh, it's in great shape. And then it comes up here to the round black beads with some silver tone, really cute piece. And a matching bracelet, doesn't get better than that. That is so cute, look how chunky and yummy that is. So that's that set. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had earrings as well? Okay, let me measure this. That's so pretty. It's 18 inches. The bracelet is a stretch, so I guess I can tell you where it sits. It sits at about a seven and then has the stretch to it. So that's so fun. Maybe what I should do is put the bracelet around the necklace like this and keep them together. And let's hope we get some matching earrings. That'll be fun too. So I'm gonna say for this lovely set, I'll do $8 for the set. That is nice. Okay, then we have some earrings stuck in a seed bead necklace, but they'll come out easily. Here's the other one. This looks like a shell earring. It looks like it needs a bath. It needs a bath as we say here in New England. So I did just wipe it off. There's nothing wrong with them. They're like a fuchsia color shell earrings, but I'm going to put them in our Lonnie craft jar just for funsies. And again, these dry out really fast, so that I'm not enjoying. I might like pour some alcohol in there or something so they don't dry so fast. We'll see. Okay, wow, I love those. And I love that. And I love this too. It's all braided. Okay, but it looks like it needs a little bit of untangling. You know, like you have to twist it this way and that way to get it untangled. So it's all seed beads crocheted together button clasp. There's some kind of fading on some of the beads, so it's not in the greatest of shape. It's not terrible. There's a lot of beads there. I think that could be very useful. 
So I think it equally has some nice wear left as well as being very useful for craft. So I will say, because it'll take up our whole jar, I'm not gonna put it in our craft jar, and I'll say $2 on that. Oops, what's hiding in there? And if you love it to wear, it's a great piece. And if you wanna use it for craft, look at all those beads. They're all glass and they're turquoise color. Oh my gosh, oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. So we have these clip-ons that have, oh, they have a scratch on them. Oh, that's a bummer, because look at the colors in here. Gold tone and almost like a purple. Looks like they made the silver tone parts to look tarnished. Oh, they're so pretty. The only thing I can do with these is use this to clip on like maybe a multi-strand pearl necklace and use it as a pendant. That would look very pretty. So I think I'll put these aside. I'll keep them together for now, but this will probably go to craft and this will go as a pendant because they just have that. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, what are these? This looks like it might be made of like real gold or something. But I'm wondering, is that the way it's supposed to? Yes, okay. So let me see if this sticks to the magnet. No, it does not. So I'm gonna have to check that really close with the loop because it's just giving me like might be gold filled or something, giving me that feeling that it might be. This looks like another one is it the other one or another one? It is another one. Where they're hand sewn on there. So the beads are hand sewn. It does need some cleaning. It's a very old screw back earring. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay, we have a stretch ring in the form of a rhinestone snake. There are some missing here. Um, otherwise, it's in good shape, but I'm going to put this in the craft jar. So in Lonnie, it goes. Next is a silver tone earring. And it's got rhinestones and chains, and that'll go to wait for its mate. Now this I'm liking. I love the delicate look of this chain, plus the turquoise green color beads. That's pretty looking. And the circles and the, I like that look. That looks really pretty. It's on a lobster clasp. It's kind of lightweight. It's not like the most amazing weight necklace, but that's not such a bad thing either if it's lightweight. I do think these are acrylic and it's on a shell. Very pretty shell. This is uh, 16 inches and I'll say a dollar on that piece. We have a memory wire bracelet that's full of stones. This is really cold. I'm guessing that's a stone, probably like a jasper stone, that one. And that some of them are probably glass, like this one. Looks like cat eye glass with that cat eye effect. And these are AB coated some more jasper. These look like a dyed howlite or something. They're not coming up too much in the gem. It's a purple one. And then some more glass. So it's got lots of color. Some real gemstones, some glass. Good looking piece. And even though it can get any size, I'll tell you what it sits on about a seven. So I like that. It's got some nice colors and some gemstones, and I'll save $5 on that bracelet. Okay, let's see if we can get through a few more, and then that'll be it for episode one. Can't wait to open all these bags. I'm reaching towards the back for these gold-colored pearls. Look at that clasp. Wow. 
It has like green rhinestones. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. So some jewelry doesn't, it's not, um, it's not verdigris, but it's this other color green that comes off like really easily. And I think that's what this has on it. So I was thinking maybe it was green acrylic. But I think it might come right out. I might just try to go get that out really quick. So we know right now, because this is a beautiful glass beaded necklace in a gold color. There is some wear on, on a few of these, like this one and this one. But I'm hoping the ones at the front are still in good shape because this is such a beautiful color. I'd hate to see that go to craft. So let me see if it's in good enough condition to wear. It's all hand knotted. Oh my gosh, the color is so beautiful. It does say something on it. Let me see what this class says on the back. Patent pending. So I'm thinking it's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm going to see if those will clean off. So I'm in a bit of a spot with this one because if I set this to soak, then I could risk the rhinestones coming off and that little pearl coming off. But it does look like it can come off. A lot of it did. But it just needs a little bit more to come off. Unless I'm taking off some green enamel, I don't know. But that's that one. I do think that it is very wearable. It's a long necklace. And this beautiful color is just stunning. But there's some wear to some of them. So I don't know what to do about it. I think I'm just going to put it on the side. I'll work on cleaning it a little bit more. And if you really love it and you're interested in it, you can send me an email. It's 30 inches long. It is hand knotted. But it's got some wear and it needs the cleaning. So I'll put that aside. And you can let me know if you're interested in that piece. Now, this is our hematite necklace. This is nice and heavy, all hematite beads. They are hand knotted in between. It's on a silver tone lobster clasp that's in really excellent condition. There we go. What a nice necklace. That's beautiful. Look how nice and shiny. And it's 22 inches long. So there you go. Beautiful hematite. And I'll say $8 on that piece. Okay. This definitely looks like um, lapis and turquoise. So I have a pair of sterling silver earrings that I bought at an antique shop and they have the same exact blue stone with like turquoise with it. So I'll have to look into this because as I was looking at my earrings I know this is a real stone but I can't remember what it was called and that maybe they come together. I don't know. Like when they're coming out of the ground it's beautiful, though. I love the purple and the green together. These are certainly some genuine little rice pearls in between. I'll rub them together, and they are very scratchy. And the next question is, are those gold beads? I don't see a clasp on it. So I'm going to have to look into this, check those beads, and find out what that stone is. It's so pretty. It is um, 26, almost 28 inches long. And are we sure there's no clasp? I guess it's an over the head piece. Oh, it's lovely, really lovely. I think I'm just gonna say um, 16 on this. And if someone loves it, they'll let me know. Um, but it's got pearls and those are real stones and it's stunning. So let's do that. Then I don't have another piece I have to research. And what are you? Another flower brooch? Oh, it came out. Okay. It is. It's a cute little daisy. Oh my gosh. Look at the, the enameling. It's so nice. It's in great condition. 
Let's check this. Oh, it doesn't have the spinny part. Oh, yes, it does. It spins itself. Instead of having another piece that spins, the whole part spins. So that's good. And my new plug isn't working on my battery. Oh, brother. Okay, we have this daisy pin with enamel. Um, I'll say $4 on that. Well, I'm going to end this one right here. I'm going to get busy making my beautiful thumbnail photo. And I'll probably keep recording and make part two and then post it in a day or so. I do hope to get to the Friday Night Fun jewelry bags as well, but we'll see. I'll have to see how things go. So I'm going to work on this. And you work on sending me an email if you liked any of the pieces. We have so many beautiful pieces to yet see. I know I'm excited. And next time we'll finish our Lonnie craft jar for sure. So thank you so much for watching. Look at all this gorgeous jewelry. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.